it's Thai bug and we're in the kitchen. Welcome back to another episode of I Can't Cook. In this episode, we are doing Tasty's potato mozzarella sticks. In my uh, Disney to Tokyo Disneyland video, I mentioned that potato and cheese are like the best combination for food. And I stand by that statement. So now I'm going to be making a version of that that I think will be the best ever. <laughs> so I watched the tasty video on my Instagram for the potato mozzarella sticks, but I couldn't find it on their website. So I had to watch the video like 50 times so I could get the ingredients. Let's see if I can focus on that. Get the ingredients and uh, the instructions on how to do it. So that was very difficult. <laughs> so hopefully this is accurate. If not, I guess it's trial and error. And that's the fun part about cooking. First step is to cut and peel the potato. So that is what I'm gonna do. I couldn't figure out how to find out what two pounds worth of potatoes were other than uh, weighing it on a scale, you know, like the scale you step on. So <laughs> that's what I did to get two pounds of potatoes because the bag came in three pounds. Wait, what? I took my weight because it wasn't working with just the potatoes and I held two potatoes and then increased by two pounds. So it's two potatoes, two pounds, but this entire bag is three pounds. You're wrong, Scale. Let's see, four potatoes. You didn't increase at all. Six potatoes. I think that's two pounds, is six potatoes worth. <laughs> so I cut and peeled my potatoes. So I cut them about this big and this wide. I don't know, I kind of just guesstimated. I forgot how slippery potatoes were once peeled, so I may or I may have not dropped a few potatoes. <gasps> no, that's not hot potato. This ain't a hot potato, this is a cold potato, but it's a slippery potato. I was like, oh my god, hot potato makes sense now, but it doesn't. So now I'm going to boil these, I think. That's what it looked like in the video, at least. I'm going to submerge it in water and bring it to a boil. And then I don't know how much I'm supposed to cook it, but I know after this I mash it. So I'm going to cook it until it's mashable. But I have nothing to mash it with, so I'm just going to use a fork. So that may take a little bit, and I have a lot of potato, but yes. Also, when you're peeling potato, make sure you peel in one direction and that direction should be away from you so you don't cut your finger. I cooked my potatoes, boiled them. Do you see the steam? <laughs> and then I drained them and now I'm going to try and mash them. I burnt myself, but it's okay. So, um, usually when I do cooking videos, I have two cameras, but unfortunately one of my cameras is with the person who owns it, it's a phone. <laughs> so you're getting one view today and you'll be happy about it. I'll do a little bit, oh, how am I gonna do this? I just have this little teeny tiny fork. <laughs> oh no, I should have splurged and got a masher. So this is gonna take me a little bit of time because I have a lot of potato here and I need to mash all of it. And then I'll bring you guys back when I am doing adding in the seasoning to the mash. This is all I'm doing. I just put it up against the side and I, I can't do this with one hand, but then I mash it. And it hurts my thumb because that's my leverage. And then I have a little pile of mash. It looks dry though. So hopefully once I add the seasoning and the egg and stuff, it'll be 
better because this does not look appetizing. I hope I didn't overcook it because I'm not peeling and cutting two more pounds worth of potato. So my method was taking so long, so when in doubt, use your hands. I just washed my hands and since it's only me and my family eating this, I think it'll be fine if it's just between you and me. So, mash. Oh, it's still hot. Ay, Dios mío, santo! That wasn't old Spanish. But this is a lot quicker than using a fork, I'll tell you. Just not sanitary. But you know what? I don't care. Oh man. That went flying. How do people do it when they don't have a masher? Do they just use their hands too? Because I think that's a viable option. This is a lot quicker than just using a big fork. And my big fork was bending. Okay, so the next step is to add in all the spices, kind of. So it's two cloves garlic, but I don't think that's going to be enough to spice this up. So I'm going to do like maybe six. <laughs> uh, one tablespoon of, no, two tablespoons of parsley. I have fresh parsley here. I'm probably just going to do it like proportional to how much um, potato is in there. So probably more than two tablespoons. We'll see how I'm feeling. And um, half cup of Parmesan. They only had shaved Parmesan cheese left in there, so I'll just crumble this up. Left in there, I mean left at the store. So I'll just crumble this up proportional to the potato. Because I kind of think I have a little bit more than two pounds of potato, but I don't think I have three pounds because there's still four potatoes left in the bag. So I don't know how much potato I have, so I'm just going to like guesstimate. Um, and then one large egg. And then salt and pepper. So let's move a little closer as I add in those things. This garlic kind of looks gross. I don't know if you can tell. Um, who did this to my garlic? I just bought you. But this is what a clove is. It's this little thing. I hope you guys knew that. Ew. Ew. I think this garlic is bad. Look at this. Can you see that? Where is the camera? Focus. Like it's all gross. That was the only garlic. I'm gonna see. I don't think this is mold. What is it? It's like a growth. It's all mushy. I can't use this. Let's see if any of it is good. Because otherwise I'm going to cry. Okay, so I think we may only be using one clove. <laughs> no. It's going to have no flavor now. But it's better than getting sick. Can garlic make you sick? I don't think so. What came with this handy dandy little shredder craft thing is this little thing so you don't have chunk of garlic in your potato. So you kind of just grind it up and it kind of makes like a paste, like a paste. And then I'll just dash that into the potato mix. So since we got barely any garlic in there, I'm gonna add some garlic powder to kind of make up for that. Hopefully this doesn't throw off everything because everything so far had been like kind of fresh. But who cares? I don't know how much I put in there, so just use your eye and mix. So that looked like it disappeared into thin air, so I'm gonna add some more. Okay, I taste garlic. Now for some parsley. I kind of don't cut parsley. I just rip it from the stalk and then like disperse it. This is going to take forever though. Now for the shredded parmesan cheese and we will crumble it. Crumble, crumble. 
crumble, crumble. Whoops. Let's see, before I put in the egg, let's try a little. Oh, too much garlic. It needs more cheese. So this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to add in the one big, large, whatever you want to call it, egg. Uh, I'm so glad you guys didn't see that because I cracked that poorly. Let me make sure I didn't get any shells in there because that would be disappointing. I think we're good. And now we're just gonna mix that up and then we we'll put it on the mozzarella sticks. Okay, so now you're gonna take your 12 mozzarella sticks and you're going to cut them in half. So this is a full size and this is a half size. And you're gonna take your potato mixture and just wrap it. I don't. <laughs> How will it stay on though is my question. Um, I'm having some difficulty covering the entire thing. It just crumbles off. Do I need to put another egg in? It looks like a little bird. <laughs> My stick is all covered. So there's one. And I'm gonna put it on a plate because then you're gonna freeze it for 30 minutes. So repeat that process for all your little matarazzi. For all your little matarazzi sticks. <laughs> Mozzarella. Why can't I say it now? Mozzarella. Mozzarella sticks. See you after 30 minutes. See you after 30 min. Why am I talking in an accent now? See you after. <laughs> See you after 30 minutes uh, and we will fry our potato mozzarella sticks. Oh, wait. we're going to coat our potato mozzarella sticks and then we're going to fry it. We are back with our frozen potato mozzarella sticks. Let me tell you, putting the potato onto the mozzarella sticks was a pain. It was hard. It kept crumbling off. So they're a bit chunky. So next up is... You coat it in all-purpose, oh my god. You coat it in all-purpose flour, three eggs that I do not have in here yet, and then breadcrumbs. I just got um, plain breadcrumbs to cut down on sodium a little bit. How is the flour gonna stick this? Oh, easily is the answer. Step one. Step two. Step three. And then, I don't think it's hot yet. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. I hear it. Boy, it's starting. Okay, let's do the other ones now. I'm just assuming until it's like golden brown, maybe. I want to make it hotter, but I feel like that'll be going into dangerous territory. This kind of looks like little mini chicken wings. I can't flip this one. Okay, I will come back when it's done, I guess. This is actually kind of easy now that I know what I'm doing with the pot oil. <laughs> I am all done. It's been hours, it feels like. And this is the final product. It fills all this, so it's enough for the party. And now for the ultimate test. Which one should I try? The pull test. 
gonna make a mess on the ground, but it's worth it. I'm gonna be so disappointed if it doesn't pull nicely. Come on, mozzarella stick, I believe in you. It's also kind of hot, so. Hello darkness, my old friend. outcome it's actually really good though but it doesn't freaking pull that's the only problem it didn't pull maybe it's like I use string cheese are you like not supposed to use string cheese I, I Oh, I'm so mad it didn't pull. But you know, this would be like a good Thanksgiving appetizer. You guys have it out on the table while you're making the uh, turkey. I don't eat turkey because it usually tends to be dry and I prefer to have crab for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bougie, I know. It's because we don't always eat meat in the house. Okay? But... All together, it's pretty good. It just doesn't pull, and that breaks my heart. I refuse to give up. I'm haggard. Look at me, my hair is all frizzy. I just microwaved one of them for a minute, and if this doesn't pull, connect the dots. I feel like I should have oven mitts though, because this is very hot. <laughs> okay. Now for the ultimate test part two. It's hot. I'm 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 not ready for disappointment. I'm gonna bear with it. I it didn't really pull, but like. At least it's separated this time. Mother of Lord, that was hot. I think it's the type of cheese I used. I mean, it was mozzarella cheese, but it was string cheese. I don't know. Let me know if you guys tried a different cheese. I will look up, because this is Tasty's recipe too. I don't know if I mentioned that enough, but Tasty, Tasty, Tasty. I think Tasty is a BuzzFeed thing. Did you know that my high school superlative was most likely to work at BuzzFeed? Well, it is. Anyways. Yeah, now the official outro. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment on stuff I asked you about during the episode, I guess. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Shoot me a pic on my Twitter, which is linked down below if you guys tried out the recipe, if you guys had better luck, if you guys can do the pull, because I'm so mad that mine didn't do the pull. So yeah, love you, bye. Uh-huh.